everyone, it's Nick with Hawkins Precision at the range today. Have it pretty much all to myself, so I thought I'd make a quick video uh, about the Tank ST and Point of Impact Shift. I usually shoot this rifle, which is my practice rifle, suppressed, but sometimes I like to take it to a local club match and, and shoot it with the, the brake on. And so I just wanted to show while I was here um, how the brake will work when you're uh, tightening it on and off. I have already set the locking collar on it, so all I need to do is torque it on and shoot it. So I'm going to shoot three shots with my can on here, uh, confirm my zero, and then I'll shoot some shots with the Tank ST on. And then what I'll do is I'll take it off and put it back on and show you how consistent the point of impact is. So let's get started. Okay, we got three shots down range here put the can on and I'll go ahead and take this off and put the tank ST on now we can find our point of impact shift for placing it in our kestrel or in our ballistic solver so either we can account for it there or we can slip the turrets at the match and and still use our our suppressor when we're practicing so let's see if we can put another group down here and see what our point of impact shift is. Actually, a pretty nice group. All right, so if we look. We're about three tenths left and one tenth up. So let's see if we can get some repeatable point of impact here with taking the tank ST on and off. Now we'll go from a nice three-shot group to see how we can do with the. Shop group. Right in the same spot. All right, now we'll go down range and, and take a look at the group after I've taken the tank ST on and off and, and see if we've had any point of impact shift. All right, so we're going to walk down range and check out the target here. Try to get in view here. So, had a pretty good group there. It was very consistent point of impact from taking the brake off and on, and that's just from that locking collar. That's nice and set. And and then we're just torquing it down. It's real simple. So uh, no muss, no fuss with a lot of things. So you can see here, see if we can get that in focus here. Right here, these were my initial three shots with my suppressor and my cold bore. And this was me taking the tank ST on and off there. So I believe on the bottom there was my first three shots and then my next three shots. Open up there. Not a bad group. We could take it out and measure it later, but overall looking pretty good. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.